What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey, hey. back to ladies and gentlemen of the bitch today. You feel me? Uh, Kevin Durant getting roasted. Uh, I, I actually did see this on Twitter. Um, I don't know if you've seen the full. I've seen a uh, like a clip of it, but oh, okay. Ryan well, Davis, we know, is a hilarious comedian. Man. Yeah, he does a lot of dope videos and stuff on um on social media and whatnot. But apparently, uh, from what I was seeing, Durant, yeah, went at him, do a shot, saying yeah. he was a trash comedian. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, Ryan kind of went from there, and he made this video. I only seen a clip a clip of it, like I said, on Twitter. But apparently yeah. he went. Yeah, nah. If you guys remember how uh, John Cena cooked Austin Theory before WrestleMania this year, that's exactly what happened here. Oh, but I brutal. think this time he preheated the oven to the maximum 500 degrees and he slow cooked this guy, bro. Damn, bro. Like, I, like I said, I don't have a problem seeing this clip again because. You know how you get on Twitter and someone sends you a clip or whatever. You watch a little bit of it, then you mm-hmm. go on about your day. Yeah, that's what happened. Once he started adding the seasoning and the ingredients, I was there. I was. I, I, I stopped <laughs> whatever I was doing at the time. I stopped what I was doing. I was like, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm here now, bro. I'm ready for the, the feast to be <laughs> presented to us. <laughs> Let's nah, finish sure. the meal. So, hey, man, let's check this out, bro. I have no problem checking this out again with you, bro. This is the cool. Easy Money Sniper. Uh, yeah. Bro. So apparently, <laughs> let's see it. if we can get the um. So Ryan it. Ryan Davis comedy, a trash comedian, mm-hmm. telling a two time champ that he doesn't know what it takes to win. Should be crazy out here. All right, all right. So yeah, I've seen it. All right, right. this goes. All right, KD. Jeez. <laughs> Kevin Durant said that I was a trash comedian. I'm like, what do you say? Fuck me for? <laughs> hey, bro, why you get personal? I ain't talking about that monstrosity sitting on top of your head. I kept it basketball. You said that offense wins championships instead of defense winning championships, and I disagreed. I said Mm. probably the thinking that you have is why you haven't got close to competing for a title since leaving Golden State. Because during Golden State's run, they had a top three defensive efficiency. That's a fact. Since defense isn't as important, explain this to me, Eddie King Jr. In the modern Eddie era King. of basketball, the Hall of Famers with the most titles, Kareem, mm. Jordan, Pippen, Rodman, Kobe, Tim Duncan, they have at minimum eight all-defensive selections. <laughs> Not a bunch of scoring titles between all of them. Mm. All have a significant amount. Of all defense and a pause real quick. You know what Kevin he, Durant has never had. <laughs> I know you're thinking waves. <laughs> Dog, too. I'm done. That nigga never don't know what a brush is. But he's making a great point, bro. Sometimes, like the the greats, their their defensive presence mm-hmm. was also very important and, and well known. And that's how a lot of teams have been able to win championships. Not just okay, they're good on offense, but being able to stop the other opponent from actually scoring back that matters so if you're good on both ends or whatnot you, got a it, better chance, you have a better chance because offense can only get you so far this is coming from a team that you know <laughs> for coming from a person that rocks with the rockets and we've been we've been you know proponents of oh yeah let's shoot the lights out but defense don't fucking exist and then we end up losing and then when we can't shoot because the the threes aren't falling, mm-hmm. then there's no defense on top of that. So now we're not scoring, nor are we stopping the opponent from scoring. So yeah, you defense gotta, you is gotta very have, important, especially in basketball. People just get lost in the let me shoot, threes. shoot the threes and shoot from half court and shoot and turn my back. No, you need to be able to have good defense to, to be able to defend on those fast breaks or when mm-hmm. someone starts getting hot. You got to stop those those streaks. So. Because when the shots ain't falling for you, you want to be able to at least there make up go. for it. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's true, though. And you're right. But Kevin the Durant has never them. had an all-defensive selection. The funny thing is, the only team that has had a bad defensive efficiency and still won the title is the 0-1 Lakers. And they had Kobe and Shaq. And ironically, both of them were all-defensive selections that year. <laughs> so even when there's a bad team defense... You still need your best players top to be players. top tier on the defensive end. Wow, How do you was... want better? You know who put an end to that Lakers dynasty? The Detroit Pistons. Yep. Our only Hall of Famer on the team is Ben Wallace, who averaged a he whopping averaged six in. points a game through mm-hmm. his career. Defense. But I wouldn't expect you to know anything about defense, Kevin Durant, because <laughs> playing defense takes heart. 
And after you joined the Golden State Warriors, after <laughs> losing a 3-1 lead to them, Damn. we all knew you didn't have heart. But my question is, why would you join them if scoring is what wins championships? Mm. Because you were the lead scorer in the league the year before that, uh, and Russ, Russ, your teammate, Won the scoring title the year after. You, the two best scoring dudes in the entire league, was on the same yes. team. Why yep. would you leave? Mm-hmm. And even though you were supposed to be the best scorer in the league, you were up three one. And what did you do in game five? You went twelve of thirty one from the field. <laughs> Damn. What did you do in game six? You went ten of thirty one from the field. So either the Warriors locked y'all up defensively mm-hmm. to get past you, which would make defense more important, or you're a choke artist. <laughs> Which one is it? It's the, the, the Which hand. one is it? And then you have the nerve Damn. to name yourself Easy Money Sniper. You know what a sniper is? A killer. You know what a sniper is? Accurate. Those are two things you are not Accurate whenever a team killer. is dependent on you to carry them to victory. Ooh. That's why it makes sense that you went over to Golden State. They had already shown that they were killers and that they were winners. Mm. See, you only look like a killer whenever other killers are already in the room with you. Oh. You're like, oh, not a sniper. You're the dude with the pea shooter. <laughs> you just add a little bit on top, like the nigga in Harlem Nights. <laughs> <laughs> See, in the game of basketball, when a team's best player gets hurt, Damn. the team suffers tremendously. Facts. When you got hurt in the playoffs when you was with Golden State, they still won the Western Conference Finals. Mm-hmm. They still went on to the Finals. And if Clay Thompson didn't yeah. get hurt, they probably would have won they, without yep. you, which is what Draymond told you to your mm-hmm. face when y'all were arguing that they were winning before you and they'll win after you. And, and you what? left Golden State after that. And what they do? One without you. <laughs> because they didn't Damn. need a shooter. See, Kevin, you're just a scorer. And not only are you a scorer, you're a scorer who doesn't score whenever your team needs you to score the most. Damn. <laughs> See, if offense was what it took, That's then Mike D'Antoni would have several rings. Facts. That Phoenix Suns offense was the best offense I've ever seen in my life. They got Steve Nash, two MVPs. Mm-hmm. That's twice as many as you, by the way, Kevin. <laughs> Why doesn't Steve Nash have a ring? He doesn't even have a finals appearance. Nope. But you believe that offense is the way to go. So when you left Golden State, you went over – to the Nets, and you had them hire Steve Nash as your coach. You're the best scorer. He was on the best offensive scoring team of all time. All this offense, you added, you know what I mean, James Harden, mm-hmm. and you added Kyrie Irving. So much offense. Yeah. Why you get swept in the first round of the playoffs yeah. to the defensive-minded Celtics? <laughs> Mr. Offense, explain it to me. <laughs> Mr. Explain offense. Me. The only thing right. in that series that was more abysmal than the aerial view of your scout the was your shooting percentage in that series. But even though I've given you all these facts, you probably still disagree with me because you're an idiot that doesn't care anything about facts. So you're going to continue to stack your Phoenix Suns team with a bunch of scores. I suggest all you scoring niggas focus on the defensive end because your scoring is good enough that you're going to score anyway. That's how you win a title. But Damn. go ahead, try to outscore everybody. And you and your cradle cap will be sent home <laughs> again in the playoffs. <laughs> oh, no. bro, he, Not you and your cradle cap. Bro, he cooked him, bro. I, I told you. This nigga. Hey, yo. He, I told you. He cooked that nigga, bro. He cooked him with facts and jokes. He threw jokes on top of it, bro. I, I, oh, everything that he said. Get in there, Ross. KD gonna come for you. I don't give a fuck. On the man. I don't care. I don't care, bro. At the end of the day, it, it, it it's Brian. It's one of those type of things where if you're gonna go after other people, they have the right to respond to you, and you probably That's, not gonna this is, like. This is very true. They, you probably not gonna like the response because. Regardless of KD is a phenomenal basketball player, future of Hall of Famer, and no one will ever be able to take that from him. I do believe he loves the game, but once he jumped ship and yeah. went to Golden State when they did not need him, it looks it looked it looked very very it it it, it mm. those those titles. Even though some can say, I mean, yeah, he was part of the reason why they did win the title, so I'm not going to take that away from him. But they will always give. They will always have an asterisk behind them. Well, because, it always feels like they was gonna. They could win. Yeah, anyway. Without him. Like yeah. 
Yeah, he it, was a big it, part it of it. It comes off like that's the easy route. That was the easy route for you. And then to back though, have that issue where Draymond pretty much telling me we really never needed you, which was the fucking truth, even though they were begging him to come. He didn't have to go over there. And to, to even expound on that, the fact that you left and you haven't sniffed the finals and they won one again. Fam, you're not finna... You not finna know, beat me three. I'm nah. up three one. Yeah, bro. You come back and squash my team, and then and call then me I go and then, to that. Yeah, and then I, right, I'll join. It, you it ain't nothing for us to talk about. Yeah, nah, I'm good, bro. Like, bro, I, I gotta beat y'all. Y'all the enemy right now. That's tough, fam. Like, I, I don't see how that's. Yeah, and like I said, that will always. Stay with him, and but I'm people make excuses for it. Oh man, no, 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 no. nah, bro. that's just this generation of thinkers. <laughs> so the niggas making me Ronnie Davis drop forty up there. <laughs> that nigga had a quadruple double yeah, on the rent. The rent, the rent got cooked, bro. So yeah. once again, like, hey, that's cool. You know, you got your two championships. That's awesome, bro. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day. Whether you care for people's opinions or not, which you kind of do, because you do be responding and yeah. all this other stuff, so you can't say you don't care. You be bothered. You do, because at the end of the day, you haven't been able to get a championship. Not saying by yourself, but you you had to jump ship with the niggas that were already going back to the finals to get your ring, and now you're coming at everybody else when they ridicule you on certain stuff, and you haven't proved anybody else wrong. Cause you got a whole bunch of offensive niggas to come to to Brooklyn, and what happened? He had a squad in, in Phoenix. What happened, bro? That's, that's just the, <laughs> that, that's the state of that's the state of the NBA now. And people, the viewers, <laughs> like they just want to see the flashy. You know, they make it to where it's like, oh, let's shoot big shots. Let's you know, let's do the Curry thing, and let's let's more offense. You know, that's why so many high scoring games. And you see with with uh, Denver. They yeah. not flashy. They yeah. not flashy. They don't That's have a problem most... getting back on defense or whatnot. Like, bro, you seen it. Fundamental ball, man. Bro, you saw how they destroyed. They de they destroyed them. I'm surprised he didn't even talk about KD's performance in the last few games. They were abysmal. His shoot, yeah, that shit he was. He them enough, bro. I don't think. <laughs> no, nah, bro. But I'm saying, if we're going off of his point, KD's point of yeah. offense, where was your offense? During this recent playoffs, they got destroyed by Denver, bro. Because when, when Devin Booker wasn't on and when KD wasn't on, what you got? What you got? It's important to be defensive, man. Yeah, like, bro. They think nowadays it's just about scoring, but you do really got to be. And they had know, no answer for Jokic. Have defensive, yeah. What, what can you do? <laughs> they can drop in 50 on your head top every fucking Joker game. Joker out there shooting that ridiculous shot that yeah, you ain't think it's bro, gonna like, go what, in. What, what, what can you do? So I don't know, man. Hey, Ryan Davis, uh he uh he definitely made some great points in. Uh we gotta add uh KD to the cook list because he definitely got oh, cooked, bro. Got so uh, <laughs> I feel like I was at a the Benny end, they, just they sprinkle a little bit of yeah, that, uh, that fancy little pepper and little salt, salt and pepper, a little on oregano, that. On and he dressed it up real Boy, good. Said his cradle crap. <laughs> cap. I can't Jeez. deal, bro. So no, that uh, was hilarious. Y'all comment down below. Let us know how y'all feel about uh, <laughs> Ryan Davis's uh, his response. Cook. Yeah, yeah, his nah, his, his roast. <laughs> Do y'all agree with what he said? And and also, I want to. I always, you know, I wanted to get this opinion. I know we people have talked about how do y'all feel about, uh, how did y'all feel about when KD actually went to Golden State? Does it is it one of those some things? people? Some people, yeah, make excuses, but it just I don't know. I just feel like it's your character a little bit because mm -hmm. if you think it's okay for somebody to be beating you three one and then they come back, no, you're beating someone three one and they come back and demolish you in a series that you should have won, mm -hmm. and then you go and join that team. I always be like, nah. Let us know how y'all feel about that. You don't got that dog in you. Let, let, let us know. If y'all cool with that, it don't matter. Or, nah, that ain't what up. That I'm rich. It. Yeah. You one of them people. I'm rich, so. <laughs> you you rich. still got to go back to your lives. And you still got cooked, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
nasty. But hey, that was a cook. But hey, man, if y'all enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Make sure you want to like, subscribe. I want to say this is Ryan Davis's original mm -hmm. uh, from his original page. Yeah, so y'all can click the link uh, down channel. below. Uh, mm -hmm. Go support him. Go hit him with a subscription. <laughs> uh, go support his comedy and everything that he's doing as well. So keep on supporting, spreading love, being love, even though this was a roast. Always spread love, though. We all, we all can get the criticism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we can still show love at the same time. I think this is Ryan caring about Durant. He wants Durant to be better. You know what I'm saying? And this is just something that Durant can probably take it. He can take it how he wants to take it, but go ahead and prove it on the court. Facts, facts. But yeah, catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. All right. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me